everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my second tutorial on painting furniture with Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. Uh, the last time I saw you guys, we did prepping the piece, cleaning the piece off, getting it ready to paint, and we did the first coat of paint, and I was seeing some wood shining through still, so I'm going to do my second coat of paint today. So I have my can all shaken up of my French linen Annie Sloan chalk paint, and I'm gonna pour a little bit in this cup. And for my second coat, I'm gonna thin out my paint a little bit. I just find that it goes on um, better, a little smoother, not as thick, and you don't really need as thick a coat on that second, uh, that second coat on top of your first coat that you did. You just kinda wanna cover up and don't wanna see that wood shining through. So I found for me, that it helps to thin out my second coat a little bit and I just thin it out with water and I'm gonna use just a teeny teeny amount, probably like a teaspoon, no more than a tablespoon, just to thin it out. So I'm just gonna do this by eye. Just gonna do a little splash in there, I think that's enough. So I got my plastic spoon and I'm gonna mix this up. This paint's really, really thick and when I add, um, when I add some water to it, it just thins it out. So you see the consistency is not as thick as straight out of the can. So I'm just gonna go ahead again, I got my natural uh, bristle brush, 100% natural bristle brush that I'm working with today. Dip it in my paint, get the excess off, and I'm just gonna go right into it. And I'm getting a lot better coverage the second time around, which I like to see. While I'm painting, I'll just talk a little bit more about the paint. Um, this paint dries really fast, which is nice, um, but it can make it a little bit more difficult to work with than say a latex paint, which you can go back and correct your mistakes. You kind of can't do that with this paint. You have to work quickly and get the brush strokes out and anything you don't like while it's wet. You try to go back, you might try to go back up to this section and touch it up a little bit now. My paint's gonna start pulling off. So you don't want to see that. So you want to make, you want to work quickly and just look, make sure there's no drip marks. And I just kind of paint every which way. I like brush strokes and it to look shabby and hand painted. So I don't really worry about going in the same direction as my paint. I just kind of go every which way. And that's what I like to do. If you like it to be more uniform, you make it more uniform. Um, that's what's really cool about this paint. It's just the more you play with it, the more you learn about it. Um, and I think everybody has their own special techniques that they like to do. Um, AnnieSloan.com is a great place to, to just learn more about the paint and see how she uses it. Um, I've just been shocking and for of wood is covered up. Um, when you go to the distressing part, it's going to be nice to have some wood kind of shining through. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this has coated. So I'm going to do the rest um, and I'll come back and talk to you soon. Now I'm going to start painting my drawer fronts. I wanted to show you a little bit more of the coverage aspect of doing the second coat. So this is what I look like after my first coat. 
And again, I have my paint that I thinned out with a little bit of water. So here we are after our second coat. Nice and covered. At this point, I'm done with the painting process. I finished my dresser, my drawer fronts, as well as the mirror that went with this dresser with a second coat of paint. I did decide to paint my hardware the same color as the piece, so I went ahead and finished all that off as well. This whole project took about a fourth of a can of paint to complete. I know a lot of people are concerned with the price of Annie Sloan chalk paint. It's typically $35 to $40 a can. Um, so for this project, I used a fourth of the can, which shows you how far you can stretch the paint if price is a concern for you. So again, we're all done painting. In my next video, I will be talking about waxing the piece as well as distressing the piece. Until then, you can check out prettydistress.com for more of my work, for more painting tips, as well as other home decor tips. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Until then, take care.